Imagine if you could control one of the most valuable resources in existence. Time. It's the one resource we all have in common, yet it's also the one thing we can't make more of. It's intangible. It's relentless. It's the constant ticking in the background of our lives, the silent reminder of our mortality. But what if we could manipulate this elusive force? No, we can't slow down the clock or turn it back, but we can control how we use this precious gift. Welcome back to the core of self-improvement, your daily dose of personal development. In this video, we're going to delve deep into the art and power of time management. It's about recognizing that time is a limited yet incredibly valuable resource and learning how to use it to our advantage. It's about making conscious choices on how we spend our hours, our minutes, and our seconds. It's about making time work for us, not against us. Time management is a key ingredient to achieving our goals, whether they're personal, professional, or a combination of both. It's about setting priorities, making a plan, and sticking to it. It's about creating a balance between our work and our personal lives, between our responsibilities and our passions. It's about maximizing our productivity without sacrificing our well-being. But why is time management so important? Well, without it, we're simply reacting to life as it happens, rather than proactively shaping our own destiny. We're allowing the winds of circumstance to dictate our direction, rather than taking the helm and steering our own course. We're letting life happen to us, rather than making life happen for us. The consequences of poor time management can be severe. It can lead to missed opportunities, unfulfilled potential, and a life filled with stress and regret. But with effective time management, we can achieve more, enjoy more, and live more. Time is the one resource we can't replenish, making its management crucial for our success. It's about making the most of what we have and using it to create a life of purpose, fulfillment, and joy. So let's explore this concept further and uncover the power of time management. After all, time is ticking and every second counts. Why is it so important to manage our time effectively, you may ask? Well, the answer lies in the numerous benefits that effective time management brings to our lives. One of the most crucial benefits of time management is increased productivity. By managing our time well, we can accomplish more tasks in a shorter amount of time. This is not about rushing through tasks, but rather about optimizing our time and using it to its full potential. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, but it's how we use these hours that makes the difference. Time management also leads to stress reduction. How many times have we found ourselves overwhelmed by the sheer number of tasks we have to complete? This feeling of being swamped can lead to stress, anxiety, and even burnout. However, by managing our time effectively, we can prioritize tasks, avoid procrastination, and reduce the pressure that comes with looming deadlines. Furthermore, effective time management can open up opportunities for growth. By consciously allocating time to various tasks, we can ensure that we have time for learning and personal development. This could be reading a book, learning a new skill, or even taking time for self-reflection. Moreover, managing our time can lead to a better quality of life. By balancing work, leisure, and personal time, we can ensure a healthier lifestyle. Time management allows us to make time for things that truly matter to us, like spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, or even just taking a moment to breathe. In a world that's constantly rushing, it's easy to feel like we're being left behind. But remember, time is a resource that's available to all of us equally. It's not about having time, it's about making time. And when we manage our time effectively, we're not just organizing our schedules, we're taking control of our lives. So let's ask ourselves again, why is it so important to manage our time effectively? The answer is simple. Time is the one resource we can't get more of, but by managing it effectively, we can make the most of what we have. Managing your time effectively is the key to unlocking a more productive, less stressful life. What happens when we let time slip through our fingers? Picture a sandcastle painstakingly built, grain by grain, only to be washed away by the relentless tide. That's the metaphorical equivalent of time lost to unproductivity. When we fail to manage our time effectively, we inadvertently create a domino effect of missed opportunities. Imagine a door, behind which lies a world of potential and progress. Each second wasted is a step away from that door, a step away from unlocking our full potential. The fallout of poor time management isn't just confined to missed opportunities, it also paves the way for increased stress. When we squander our time, tasks pile up, deadlines loom closer, and before we know it, we're caught in the whirlwind of last-minute scrambles and late-night toil. This stress, in turn, 
spills over into other aspects of our lives, affecting our health, relationships, and overall well-being. Moreover, wasted time leads to reduced productivity. The irony of poor time management is that the more time we waste, the less time we have to accomplish our tasks. We become trapped in a cycle of procrastination and inefficiency, where the to-do list grows longer, but the hours in a day remain the same. Furthermore, when we don't value our time, we run the risk of others not valuing it either. Say for instance, you're always available, always ready to drop your tasks to cater to others' needs. Over time, people may start to take your time for granted, not realizing that it comes at the expense of your own priorities. In essence, the consequence of wasted time is a life lived on someone else's terms, not ours. It's a life where our goals remain unfulfilled, our dreams unaccomplished, and our potential untapped. It's a life where we're always racing against the clock, yet forever falling behind. Wasting time is like throwing away a precious resource that you can never get back. So, let's start treating time with the respect it deserves, cherishing each moment as an opportunity to learn, grow, and progress. After all, time is the canvas on which we paint the masterpiece that is our life. How can we harness the power of time and take control of our lives? The answer lies in effective time management tools and techniques that can help us navigate our daily tasks and long-term goals with ease and efficiency. One such tool is time blocking. It's a method where you divide your day into blocks of time, each dedicated to a specific task or activity. Picture your day as a series of puzzle pieces, each one fitting perfectly into the next. When you time block, you're essentially creating this puzzle, mapping out your day piece by piece. This technique not only keeps you organized, but also ensures you have dedicated time for each task, eliminating the stress of multitasking and the guilt of neglected responsibilities. Then there's the Pomodoro technique. Named after the tomato-shaped kitchen timer, this technique encourages you to work in bursts of intense focus. Traditionally, you work for 25 minutes, then take a five-minute break, repeating this cycle until your task is complete. This method boosts productivity by ensuring you're not straining your focus for too long, while also providing regular breaks to refresh your mind. It's a great way to tackle larger projects or tasks that require deep concentration. Let's not forget about task prioritization, a vital technique that helps you determine which tasks deserve your immediate attention and which ones can wait. This can be done using the Eisenhower Matrix, a simple tool that divides tasks into four categories, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. By categorizing your tasks, you can effectively decide where to invest your time and energy. Now, you might be wondering, how do I choose which technique to use? Well, that depends on your personal needs and the nature of your tasks. If you have multiple tasks that require equal attention, time blocking could be your best bet. If you're working on a single time-consuming project, the Pomodoro technique might serve you well, and if you're overwhelmed with tasks and unsure where to start, task prioritization can help you gain clarity. Remember these tools and techniques are not set in stone. Feel free to tweak them to better fit your lifestyle and work habits. You might prefer longer Pomodoro sessions, or you might find that a different method of task prioritization works better for you. These are merely guidelines designed to help you take control of your time, but no matter which techniques you choose to implement, the key lies in consistency. It's not enough to use these tools once and expect immediate results. Time management is a habit that needs to be cultivated and maintained, so stick with it, make adjustments when necessary, and over time, you'll see the positive impact on your productivity and peace of mind. With the right tools and techniques, you can become the master of your time. So, take the reins, experiment with these methods, and find out which ones work best for you. After all, time is the canvas upon which we paint our lives. Let's make it a masterpiece. Is time more valuable than money? Let's delve into this. Picture a wealthy man who, despite his overflowing coffers, is on his deathbed. He would give all his wealth for a little more time, wouldn't he? That's because time, unlike money, is a non-renewable resource. Once a moment is gone, it's gone forever. We can't retrieve it. We can't reproduce it. Time is the canvas upon which we paint the art of our lives. It's the soil in which we plant the seeds of our dreams. It's the stage where we perform the play of our existence. Its value is intrinsic, it's invaluable, it's priceless. Now compare this to money. Money, as necessary as it is, is just a tool. A tool that can be earned, saved, invested, and even squandered. If we lose money, we can always make more. 
but time, once lost, it's irretrievable. There's a saying that goes, time is the school in which we learn, time is the fire in which we burn. It's a testament to the transformative power of time. Every second that ticks by is a chance for us to grow, to evolve, to become better versions of ourselves. So is time more valuable than money? The answer, as you may have guessed, is a resounding yes. Time is the currency of life, the one thing we can't earn more of. We can't bargain for it, we can't buy it, we can't steal it. We can only spend it, wisely or foolishly. As we continue on our journey of self-improvement and personal development, let's keep in mind this paramount truth. Time is the ultimate wealth. It's the one that enables us to enjoy all other forms of wealth, be it health, relationships, experiences, or yes, even money. So let's treat time with the respect it deserves. Let's cherish it, let's treasure it, let's make the most of it. Because in the end, time is the one thing we can't earn more of, which makes it more valuable than any amount of money. But how can we make the most out of our time? Stay tuned till the end of this video, where we will reveal how to use time management tools like the Pomodoro Technique, Time Blocking, and Prioritization. Don't miss out. What does the wisdom of the ages tell us about time? Permit me to take you on a journey through the annals of literature and wisdom traditions, where time has been a recurring theme, shedding light on its importance and the need for its proper management. Let's start with a well-known quote by Benjamin Franklin, Lost time is never found again. Franklin, a polymath and a founding father of the United States, underscored the irreplaceable nature of time. Once a moment has slipped away, it remains forever lost. This insight underlines the importance of managing our time wisely, for time lost is time we can never reclaim. Now let's delve into the poetic realm. Robert Frost, in his poem The Road Not Taken, wrote, Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Frost's metaphor of diverging paths can be seen as an allegory for our choices and how we spend our time. Every moment presents us with multiple paths, and the one we choose can make all the difference. The road less traveled might be the one that requires more effort and time, but it could also be the one that leads to greater rewards. In the realm of wisdom traditions, we find a profound understanding of time in the Buddhist concept of impermanence. Buddhists believe that everything, including our lives, is in a constant state of flux. This understanding of time as transient and ever-changing can serve as a reminder to use our time judiciously, savoring each moment rather than squandering it. From the pages of literature, Charles Dickens in A Tale of Two Cities wrote, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. This paradoxical statement reminds us that our perception of time is often colored by our experiences. Good times seem to fly, while difficult times seem to stretch on. This understanding can help us manage our time better, knowing that even the toughest times will pass, and we should make the most of the good times. Finally, let's turn to an African proverb that says, The sun will shine on those who stand before it shines on those who kneel under them. This proverb underscores the importance of taking initiative and being proactive with our time. Those who make the most of their time who stand tall and seize the day, will reap the benefits before those who wait for things to happen. These insights from literature and wisdom traditions across the globe highlight the importance of time, its fleeting nature, and the need for its judicious use. Whether we turn to the wisdom of the ages or the latest time management tools, the message is clear. Time is a precious resource, one that we must manage wisely. The wisdom of the ages reminds us of the importance of cherishing and managing our time, what separates those who manage their time from those who don't? That's the question we aim to answer in this segment. Picture a seesaw, balanced on the fulcrum of time. One side represents success, the other mediocrity. The weight of effective time management tips the scale towards success, while the lack thereof pushes it towards mediocrity. Imagine two individuals, both with the same 24 hours in a day, possessing similar skills and opportunities. The only difference is their approach to time management. The first individual, let's call them Alex, is a master of time management. Alex has a clear understanding of their goals, prioritizes tasks based on importance, and uses tools to track and optimize their time. This approach allows Alex to complete tasks efficiently, meet deadlines, and still have time for self-care and leisure. The benefits don't stop at productivity. Alex's stress levels are lower. They're able to maintain a healthy work-life balance and they have the satisfaction of knowing that every moment of their day has purpose and value. 
Now consider the second individual, we'll call them Taylor. Taylor doesn't manage their time as effectively. Tasks are approached haphazardly, without clear priorities. Deadlines are frequently missed and work often spills over into personal time. The impact of this approach isn't just limited to productivity. Taylor frequently feels stressed and overwhelmed. Work-life balance is a distant dream, and Taylor often feels like they're just treading water, unable to make meaningful progress towards their goals. These contrasting scenarios illustrate the profound impact of time management. It's not just about getting more done in less time, it's about achieving a sense of balance and control. It's about reducing stress and enhancing your quality of life. It's about making the most of the time you have, rather than letting it slip away unproductively. So what separates those who manage their time from those who don't? The answer lies in the outcomes. Effective time management can be the difference between success and mediocrity. What else should we know about managing our time effectively? Well, let's delve a bit deeper into the intricate world of time management. Firstly, it's essential to realize that time management is not just about squeezing every last drop of productivity out of your day. It's a delicate balance of work, rest, and leisure. Yes, you heard it right, rest and leisure. These are not the enemies of productivity, but rather its allies. When our minds are rested, we're able to think more clearly, make better decisions, and ultimately, be more productive. Leisure, on the other hand, fuels our creativity and passion, which are key drivers of innovation and excellence. Let's move on to another crucial aspect of time management, planning and goal setting. These are the compass and map that guide us through the vast ocean of time. A clear plan gives us direction and purpose, ensuring that our time and energy are spent on things that truly matter. Goals, on the other hand, serve as the lighthouses that keep us on course, helping us to navigate through the fog of distractions and stay focused on our destination. Speaking of distractions, they're the pirates of our time, always lurking around the corner, ready to steal away precious moments. It's important to recognize them and learn how to fend them off. This could mean turning off unnecessary notifications on our devices, creating a quiet workspace, or simply learning to say no when necessary. Remember, every moment spent on a distraction is a moment lost from achieving our goals. Now let's talk about flexibility. While planning and goal setting are important, so is the ability to adapt to changes. After all, life is unpredictable. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, things don't go according to plan. In such instances, it's crucial to stay flexible, reassess our plan, and adjust our course if necessary. Lastly, it's important to remember that time management is a skill and like any skill, it needs to be practiced and refined over time. Don't be disheartened if you don't get it right the first time. Instead, learn from your mistakes, make adjustments, and keep trying. Over time, you'll find that managing your time becomes second nature. In conclusion, good time management is about more than just being productive. It's about understanding our priorities, setting clear goals, dealing with distractions, maintaining a balance between work, rest, and leisure and being flexible and adaptable. But most importantly, it's about making the most of the time we have so that we can live a balanced and fulfilling life. Good time management is about more than just being productive. It's about living a balanced and fulfilling life. So how will you choose to use your time? As we draw this discussion on time management to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the key insights we've shared today. The power of managing your time, the consequences of wasting it, the tools you can use to better control it, and the stark difference it makes in one's life, all these are important facets of the art of time management. Remember the old adage, time is money? Well, we've discovered that time is so much more than that. It's an invaluable asset, the one resource that, once lost, you can never regain. It's the canvas upon which the masterpiece of your life is painted. It's the currency of your life, and how you choose to spend it defines who you are and what you become. We've explored the significance of knowing where and what you spend your time on. It's like having a map of your life. With it, you can navigate your days more effectively, prioritizing what truly matters and eliminating what doesn't serve you. This awareness alone can be a game changer in how you live your life. We also delved into the consequences of squandered time, the missed opportunities, the unfulfilled potential, the lingering regret. These are the bitter fruits of time wasted. But remember, it's never too late to start making better use of your time. We've introduced you to some practical tools and techniques for time management. From planners and calendars to apps and software, there's a whole arsenal of aids at your disposal. But tools are only as effective as the user. 
so it's up to you to make the most of them. We've also highlighted the stark contrast between those who manage their time effectively and those who don't. It's a difference not just in productivity, but in overall quality of life. Time management isn't just about getting more done, it's about achieving a balanced, fulfilling, and meaningful life. And let's not forget the wisdom and metaphors about time we've shared. From poets and philosophers to everyday people, the significance of time is a universal theme. It's a river, a thief, a gift, a teacher. It's all these things and more. And the more we understand it, the better we can navigate its flow. Now it's your turn to put these insights into action. Start by taking a good look at how you're currently spending your time. Identify the time wasters, the distractions, the non-essentials. Then start implementing some of the time management techniques we've discussed. Experiment, adjust, and find what works best for you. It's a journey, not a destination. So be patient with yourself as you learn and grow. If you found value in this video, we encourage you to like it and share it with others who might benefit from it. And if you have any thoughts or experiences you'd like to share, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. In conclusion, always remember this. The way you manage your time today will shape your tomorrow. So take control of your time, take control of your life. Because at the end of the day, it's not about having time, it's about making time. Remember, the way you manage your time today will shape your tomorrow. So take control of your time, take control of your life.